And, and let's talk about the vineyard for a few, because, um, you know, what's interesting to me is you have this synthesis of cool ground at elevation with all that sunlight. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, being in proximity of a lake that size really gives you a different opportunity to make a wine that's unique. Um, you know, there are other places in the world that make great Sauvignon Blanc. I mean, Sancerre and, and Marlboro, and they all have their own style. And, and that's great. Um, but this is every bit as valid. You know, I mean, when we go to Lake County and we get a chance to walk through the vineyard, it's always exciting to be mm -hmm. there because uh, there's so much life in abundance in this vineyard. Um, there's owls there and there's always flocks of birds and there's rabbits everywhere. Um, it's a beautiful place to be. And I think one of our notions of nature and making wines is that delicious things come from beautiful places. And I hope that's always true, but in this case, it definitely is. Well, and but it's not easy uh, there for the vines or for the animals. The soil has a lot of clay in it. And so as a result, as the vines are growing, when, uh, when it's the rainy season, the clay soaks up a lot of water. But then when things start to dry out, the clay dries out. And when clay dries out, um, it starts to pull apart. And so all of the little micro roots that are going out from the vines get ripped apart. And so every year, even though the vines have been there for a few decades, they're always struggling. It's always um, a little bit of a challenge for them. And so you you get a little bit more character. It's like when people struggle. They uh, learn lessons and develop more character. And that's part of the site too. Yeah, out of diversity character, that's a good point. And I would say an interesting aspect is, you know, Sauvignon Blanc, the name comes from Sauvignon means savage. And so given its own devices, Sauvignon Blanc will become a mammoth vine mm -hmm. with just literally 10 ton of the acre. But we see much smaller vines with about three and a half to four and a half tons of the acre. And that gives that character we were talking about, it concentrates the flavor of the place, which is one of the notions of the French concept of terroir. Why do certain things taste like the place that they come from? Mm -hmm. And I think we have the cool ground, the proximity of the lake, the soils that come from the lake, and the elevation just giving us that amount of sunlight. But then every evening, the breeze is coming through as the warm air transits over to the Central Valley, the cold air comes in from the coast. So we have these warm days and very cool evenings and lots of air passage. Mm -hmm. It makes for an interesting place. 